and welcome to yet another edition of Felix Dead Matters. Now, we always try to have our finger on the pulse, and today we've got rather an SOS for you, because so many people, unfortunately, think that the spa theatre is actually closed, or is closing, and they're not using it. Now, there's something on this weekend at the spa, which is of interest to everyone. It's done by and organised by a local uh, lady, who's our guest today, Welcome, Jane. It's Hello. nice to have you with us, and um, I'm hoping you're going to tell us all about this uh, production which you're going to put on in, in the, at the spa. Yeah, um, it starts Thursday evening. It's yes. on Thursday, Friday, Saturday afternoon and Saturday yes. evening, Yes. and it's called Celebration uh, 2012. Yes. And it's just jam-packed full of all different types of music. Yes. You know, from the old sort of to the new one. It's a musical show, in effect. Yeah, yeah, it's musical. Yes. We sing in harmony, so yes. it's up to six parts, harmony. Is it really? Yes. Yeah. But it's not just singing, singing, it's bits of shows. Talk to some of the shows. Which yeah, yeah, some of the shows. Um, that are in it. We've in, got in the Rogers and, Rogers and Hammerstein opening, which yes. has got bits of, sort of um, from all different yes. Rogers and Hammerstein yes. shows. Um, we've got some from Le Miserable. Oh, that's very good, yes. Um, we've got a selection from um, the group Queen, so yes. that's more, you know, sort yes. of rock stuff. Um, we're also doing part of Sister Act as well, a bit of Sister Act. Oh, well, that's Act. good, yes. Yeah, which is good. A bit of Gospel. Yes. A bit of Phantom. Yes. Um, a London selection, because we thought we'd better do that. Yes. Because yes. of the Olympics and everything, so we've got yes. our London. Me and my girl. That oh, sort that's of thing. lovely, yes. Um, and uh, it's just ever changing, you know, it's it's quite fast moving and lots and lots of different stuff. So yes. you can't really get bored. No. It's all. And a big cast, isn't it? How many yep. people in it? Yeah, there's there's about 50 adults and 20 children in it. Oh, so it's an enormous cast. That's wonderful. Yeah, the children it? come on and they do a couple of bits in the yeah. London selection. They do a number from Matilda, which is on at yes. the West End at the moment. Yes. Oh, it's as modern as that. Right up to date. Yeah, so yeah that's it's very really good, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah so it's, um, it's a really good show. Yes. Um, we need to sell a few more tickets. Well, this is right. If people think it's hmm. shut, and they're going to miss something which is really... It's really worthwhile to see because I think it's yeah. nice to have a bit of everything it and is. so I suppose from its name Celebration 2012 it's really celebrating the music yeah. that's been yeah. enjoyed this year. And really. I think it's quite unusual to have such a huge cast yes. and to have six part harmony. Yes. Um, some of it's four or five six part harmony um, because that is quite unusual to get such a, a big you know, production. Such a big production. Yeah. But, uh, well, let's hope that they'll all bo book in. And, it's come um, on everyone. Uh, I'm sure, sure they will. It's not go. expensive. Isn't it? What are the prices? Um, you know? £12 yes. up to 16 50 I think. Is well, the that's top very one. good, isn't it? And, so. and there's a family ticket, uh, a sort of re reduced family yes. ticket. Yes. Oh, that's so. very good, isn't it? Yes, yes. good. Yes. Well, at any rate, that's good. But let's go back. Your father was very interested in, in this locality. He mm -hmm. apparently, you've, everybody knows the Regent Theatre <coughs> in Ipswich. Mm -hmm. Now he managed that for how many years? Um, Thirty, I think. I'm right, Dad. Yes. Don't watch him. Um, from sort of fifty-three to eighty-three, I think. Did he really? So he Gosh. saw a lot of different music. Because it's now called the Regent, isn't it? Yeah, it was the it was the yes. Gaunt. Yes. When my dad was there. Yes. So I was sort of born in the theatre, really. So you've always been in this some sort of business, yeah. yeah. How long have you been with the Operatic and Music Society? Nearly 30 years. Nearly 30 years? I, you don't I was in it when I was two. You don't look <laughs> old enough for that. I was only two. You only two, I see. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't me. Um, but no, I joined the Operatic Society because... Um, uh, I was in the Co-op Juniors before that. Oh yes, so Co-op Juniors. Now tell me about the Co-op Juniors. Co-op Juniors um, used to do lots of pantomimes at the region. Yes. Which was then the Gaumonts yes. when I was in it. Yes. I think they actually used to do it at the spa. They oh, really? at the spa. Yes. And then they needed a bigger venue, I think. And then they went up to it. Yeah. Yes. But then when the um, Regent had the professional pantomimes in, yes. you know, they, yes. they decided to go to Snape. I see. So uh, hello, little dog. And so the co op juniors now go to Snape yes. and they do a big Christmas spectacular at Snape, really? yes. which is really good. Lots of people go on coaches to see it. Yes. And they also do a spring show at the set for theatre, I think, in really? Woodbridge now. Yes. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think um, a transition from the co op juniors yes. to the Ipswich Operatic. 
you know, it's quite similar. No, no, it's called the Ipswich Operatic and, and Dramatic, Dramatic Society. Society. <laughs> now, what, tell me the links of well, that. We call it IODS. Oh, I see. Or some people call it IODS. IODS, I see. So, um, the old, you know, the, the traditional name for an operatic society yes. is the longer version. I see, yes. And we kind of shortened it a bit to But IODS. you do a lot of ordinary productions don't you tell me some of the p productions that you've done oh well we do things we've done west side story west side twice, story twice once at the Wolsey, yes. once at the region yes. um done oliver you oliver know, done yes half sixpence in the rain yes All but the these aren't stuff. what you call um what you'd expect from an operatic society aren't they um well they are in as much as they are we don't do opera you don't do opera no but the word operatic i suppose just means we sing oh i but see but it's not opera Oh, I see. But musicals, obviously, are, there's lots of singing because in the today, musicals. today, opera seems to have been a little bit on the downturn. Yeah. So it, yeah, we don't do opera. No. But um, we even did the full Monty. Did you? Oh, well, the musical, there you are, yes. The, the musical version of the film. <laughs> yes. Um, and we did that at the spa, and it yes. worked so well. Yes. We took it to the region and did it again a couple oh, of years later. Good. That was a good show. Um, so, yeah, we, we tend to do musicals. Yes. We've done a Vita as well. Okay. So, really, you should be calling Super yourself Super. the Ipswich... Musical and dramatic well, yeah, society. Um, we have had this conversation quite a few times on yes. um, whether we should change our name because it's quite old fashioned. Yes. Um, operatic might denote that we do opera and Well, we this is right. So. This is what I thought I must confess when I saw the yeah, title. So, I thought, um, anyone got any ideas of a good name? Well, there you are. That's <laughs> well, there's my suggestion. <laughs> We'd like to know what, musical, what you think. Musical and dramatic society yeah, because okay. it covers everything yeah. then doesn't it mm, yeah but anyway, it's it sounds very interesting now tell me you've had an interesting past you started oh, I say. <laughs> well, not that way. i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> that's that's about that on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I want to come to the bit about head hunting which is interesting. Oh, yes. let's start off at the beginning <laughs> Where did you uh, go to school originally i went to britannia in ipswich and cobbleston yes I went straight from school onto the youth training scheme, yes. the YTS scheme. Yes. If you remember that, twenty-five pounds a week. Oh yes. Um, at Willis Insurance. When you say twenty-five pounds a week, it's, it's twenty-five pounds. That's a week what you were paid. paid. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I think I was on the first year of it at Willis yes. in, in Ipswich. Now that's that big black building, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the glass building. And they've got a garden on the top. Yeah, they've got a garden on the top. Yes. They used to have a swimming pool on the ground floor as well. Really, yes. Um, but that's been made into offices now. I don't Has have it? that anymore. I see, yes. Um, but yeah. Can you see out, when you're inside that black building, yeah. it looks completely black on yeah, the you outside. Can see. Yeah. And you can see out. Yeah, and see, but you can't see in. No, you can't see in very well. Yes. Um, but yes. So um, how many years were you there, Jane? Uh, about three years I was there, yes. so I learned all my secretarial qualifications and things like that. I see, yes. So that was useful. And then you did something completely different. Uh, I did. I, I, I gave in my job. I, I jacked in the job and went to work with horses. Boy, and I thought it was a bit of a laugh. Virtually unpaid. <laughs> I was unpaid, yeah. <laughs> No, was was very happy with was very happy with that. No, it wasn't. Now you got paid. Sense. You got paid in food. Yes. Somewhere to live. <coughs> very nice place to live. Yes. And um, horse riding lessons, really. Really. So, yes. Yeah, and you learnt to ride there. No, no. I learnt to ride when I was about eleven. Oh, I see. By falling yeah. off my friend's horse. Yes. And I used to have a pony when I was younger. Gosh, that's nice. Isn't yeah. It? And but yeah, the yeah. grooming was good fun. So that's what all you did. How many horses did they have? Four, you know? Fourteen. Fourteen. And there was four grooms. Really? Yeah, mucking but, out was uh, quite a job, yeah. and you had to do it in a very short space of time. Gosh, but what were the horses being used for? Um, shows like dressage, three-day oh, events. Oh, I see. A bit like what Princess San used to do. Yes. In as much as show jumping, um, yes. cross country, yes. and dressage would be in one weekend. Oh, I see. Yes. And um, so the horses were kind of <laughs> valuable, and uh, <laughs> they uh, you're a bit scared to sort of do anything with them really. Yes. Um And um, lovely to ride though. I mean. I, mean, I didn't compete because I was no, a group. You exercised them, I, I exercised them, them which yeah, was well, good. Jolly really good, wasn't it? Yeah. So you did something you enjoyed. Yeah, I did yes, actually. Yes. It was hard work, very hard work. And what made you leave it? Um, I left it because I thought I really need to buy a house. Yes. So I wasn't earning any money. I see. So I thought, get real. Yes. You, need to, you need to actually, because um, that was in Cambridge, I did the grooming. So yes. I came back home and uh, I got a normal job yes. and um, bought a house. Oh, that's, that's good. <laughs> and then you've had a partner married, or what happened? Um, yeah, I did get married, yeah. I yes. got married and um, had 
sort of three children a bit three later children, on. Three children, gosh. Yeah, yeah. So very obviously enterprising. That, that keeps me busy. But um, then, so after that, you went back into secretarial work. I did, yes. I did lots of typing. And and you've been made redundant a couple of times, I think. Yes, you? I did. I got made redundant twice. Um, once from the, the job that I had in Lower Brook Street, yes. which is opposite the East Anglian yes. Daily Times. <coughs> after eight years, they, yes. they made me redundant. Um, but then I went into a more fun job, so actually, yes. although it was a bit scary. So each time you've been made job. redundant, you've gone into something... You I have, actually, I've actually done something that I liked more. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because um, I think people get stuck in stuck in a rut with their job sometimes. Well, this is the trouble. And they don't necessarily leave, they just keep doing it. Yes. Whereas yes. Uh, the, the old redundancy thing, I know it's a bit scary at the moment, job market's not very good. Yes. But um, it gives you a bit of a shake-up and you yes. end up doing something a bit different. Well, that's right. Really, it's, it, it's not just a door closing, but it's a door opening as well. It's yeah. always an opportunity mm. there. But yeah. then the last time you were made redundant, you did something which I admire greatly. You started your own business. Yeah, I did actually, yeah. <coughs> I uh, I started to do training for a training company, um, and then I decided to leave that and work for myself. I see. Now, where did the headhunting come in? Was that before um, you were made redundant? That was when I was made redundant the first time for oh, a secretarial job, and um, <coughs> that was a total change from sort of an admin secretarial yes. job to a headhunter's yes. job, which is it's, it's a sales job. Yes. It's totally different. But headhunting, it sounds <laughs> most intriguing. You have to use a big spear. You have to use a big spear. And I tell you about it. What, what, what did you actually do when you were heading? Um, well, you have a list of you have a list of companies that want you to find them somebody. I see. Yes. And then basically you headhunt from whoever else isn't on your list. So you just go go and spot a firm. Well, you kind of have to think about where somebody would want to move from and to. Oh, I see. So you get somebody from a smaller company would probably want to move to a bigger one. Yes. Sometimes someone who's a, one of the top five companies wouldn't necessarily move to a smaller one. A small, small but they might one. go to a bigger position, presumably. They might do, yeah. So yes. it depends on that. So yes. you've got to get it right. And you ask, you ask the company where they'd actually like to have people from, which makes your job a bit easier. I see, yes. yes. But you've got to have, obviously, offer something that they want. Yes. But you ring up out of the blue to somebody in a job and say, would you hello. like to, hello, <laughs> pretend, you're, pretend you're telling me, I'm, I, I, I'm, the, manager, I'm the manager of this um, little shop, I'd you're say, head um, what would you say to me? I'd say, hello, my name's Jane Bowen, uh, yes. do you keep your mind open to career opportunities? Oh, oh yes, always. If you say always. no to that, then yes. you well, know, no, you don't want to. You're not really going to say no <laughs> to that, are you? Yes, yes. And if they say yes, yes, I'd I'd say, well, you know, I'd have a few positions that you, might interest you. Oh, I see. Um, and sort of tell them briefly about what they are. Yes. Um, and then just have a chat, and then if they are, they are, and if they're not, and you just say to them, you, do you know, make an answers? appointment to see them, or and depending on location, I used to do sort of UK, so. Yes. I couldn't really always meet people. You'd have I a see. very long conversation. But you put them on to whoever was wanting yeah. them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. You'd, you'd have to really interview them properly on the phone. Yes, I see. And speak to them a number of times. Yes. It's not as easy as just putting them in contact with them, because no, you want to make sure they, that yes. they're interested. And is this still going on? I mean, do people still yeah, get lots. out? Yep, there's lots of headhunters in London. Really? Uh, big ones. They've been really? there a long time. Yeah. And they're doing very well. Um, a friend of mine has actually does a similar job to me as in a trainer yes. position. But she's she's also a headhunter and she's she works from home. Does she? Because she was in recruitment with me. Gosh, that's very good, isn't yeah. it? Um, so it's not a it's not a sort of thing where you can make fast money because the whole process takes quite a long time to find someone. Oh, I see what you mean. It can mean, take yeah. a long. It can take four months to find somebody. Really, for a job. as long as that. Yeah. Yeah, it's not as easy as you think it is. Yes. Um, but the fees that they charge. I mean, what know, sort of fees do they charge? Oh well, uh, probably twenty five percent of the person's salary. Twenty five percent. What for, for 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 how probably long? Twenty. For how long? Um, to place them in the job. So, um, if I want to find somebody for you, yes, um, you're the company. Yes, you'd have to pay me twenty or twenty-five percent. You know, sort of depending on the job. Yes, of the person I find salary. Oh, I see. For how long? I mean, it's twenty-five percent no, no, for a month one or a fee, year. One off, one off fee of, of the yearly salary. Of the yearly salary. Mm -hmm. So, if somebody's on twenty thousand a year. Mm -hmm. 
they're getting... Yeah, they're more likely to be on about 60. 60? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Goodness, it's a very big league, aren't we? Lots of money. Yes. So, so, but then that means that the fee is something like uh, 20%, yeah. about £12,000. Yeah, yeah. I placed somebody in a job for 10000 once. Really? I didn't yeah. get the 10000 because no, it wasn't my company. I see. <laughs> I, see. Um, I got commission on it. Yes. But it sometimes takes a long time. Yeah. And then you see the people that you found, they might change their mind. No, really? Yeah, they might turn around and say, do you know what, Jane? <laughs> I don't want to do that, actually. I've changed my mind. I'm not going next week. Oh, I see. God. <laughs> so it's all a bit, you know, yes. it's a bit of a funny business to be well, in. You've opened my eyes. Thank you. I know, <laughs> now I know a little bit about... It's not against the law or anything. Well, it's no, pleasure. No. It's, yes. you know? and, and it's going on all the time, so that's interesting. Well, yeah, it is. Um, yes. Yeah, it is. Yes. So, yes, I did that for a short spell. But then you were made redundant. And um, this is the bit that I really admire. Because, yeah. and I think so many people today could follow your what you did really because when you were made redundant you then decided you were going to start your own business yeah I, I did work for a training company for a little while a few months yes and then I thought oh, I might as well do this myself so yes I just thought well I've got sales training I, I, I am a salesperson so I, sh I should be able to pick up the phone and yes. get my own business in yes which is what I did so, um, so, so cold calling really Really, gosh. Yeah. So, but basically, you started this and you were bringing up three young children at the same time. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, sort of gone in and out of it a bit. You know, when I had the three children, I might have done a little bit more and then yes. not so much for a few months and yes. then a bit more. And, and of course, on. one of the reasons you do it is because it's you're able to cope with your children better by having your own business. Well, yeah. Yeah. Um, Oh, I don't know if I can cope with them better, but. Um, <laughs> well, you, don't, you don't have any holidays um, and hours. Yeah, I can work around. Like the holidays yes. better. Yes. Because yes. it's when you've got three children and three lots of childcare. Yes. Per day. Yes. It's a lot of money. Oh, it's so, a lot to find. You couldn't do it. Yeah. So if I don't work in August, that's great in as much as I'm with the kids. Yes. Downside to that is you don't get paid. Um, oh, I see, of course, that's a problem. Don't work. Yeah. Don't that's get any money. Paid, yes. <laughs> but Finry, the thing is, where I'm full of admiration is that you were made redundant and then you got up and you started your own business and went mm. out and did something. Yeah. And I think there's a moral there somewhere. Mm. And it's different personalities, of course. Some people couldn't do it. They haven't got the ability to do it or they haven't yeah. got yeah. the, uh, how shall I say, motivation to yeah, do they it. Haven't, yeah. But uh, the door is always open, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it's, there's quite a few people starting up businesses at the moment. Yes. Well, of course, you know, um, I go back really to good. the days when there was hardly any benefit. Mm. And every day, you know, the house door would be knocked at perhaps t a dozen times. Mm. You get people coming in wanting to sharpen knives, wanting to sell you something, want to dig your garden, yeah. want to clean your windows, and they went out and they made money. Yeah. And um, if you haven't got a job, why not get a bicycle and a ladder and a bucket? Well, or, clean or, windows. Or just take a spade and go out and get Yeah, them. I mean, my my window cleaner in Cal when I was in Calder Road, I think that was about sixteen pounds. Um, you know, to have your windows Well, clean. this is right. Maybe, but, maybe, you know, that could happen. But it just depends on the personality and the circumstances. There are some people who definitely don't do it, but I think there's also the people who regard the benefit as their right mm. and anything they can make on the side is also their right. Yeah, which yeah. Is, but, uh, it's a bit tricky. But things are coming together now, but I think there's got to be a degree of fairness and but I think you're an example to people in the fact that you were made redundant, you went out with three children, and you'd been divorced by then, I suppose. Uh, no, that was more later on. That was later on. Yeah, was but later. Uh, but was your husband supporting you at that time? Yeah, right? yeah, he had yeah. a really good job at the time. Well, so see, the, the so circumstances bad. that do yeah. make a difference. Yeah. You, you had you had a cushion, but nevertheless, it's inspiring, yeah. and I hope people will take note of it and think, well, I could do that too, mm. and I'm sure they will. Mm. But um, I'll give it a try. It's fascinating. But I think you're going to come back, and we're going to do a program about your job. Yes, I am. I, I think, think it's, it's next week. I think it yes. might be Friday. I because, can't remember. Because <laughs> because hopefully. You know, this is this is interesting, and uh, you're doing training courses. I understand you're going yes, to get more been detail doing when we training have the, courses for companies when we have yeah. that. Yeah. But uh, coming back to the the 
musical and dramatic society. If <laughs> operatic, <laughs> operatic, operatic, society. operatic and dramatic how society. Often, how often do they meet? Um, two or three times a week. Do they? Yeah. I see. And Usually so two rehearsals a week, sometimes three. Really? If you're playing a part. Yes. And you need to go three times a week, really. Really, but this has you have to go into Ipswich for this, presumably. Yeah, we rehearse at Silent Street, which is in. Yes. Is there a local um, amateur dramatics or operatic or musical society? A Felix Do one. Um, yes, yes, we've we've got Stage Door. Stage Door. Stage Door. I see. Um, also, um, Felix Do operatic. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, but is that <laughs> once again the <laughs> operatic? Is that mainly? Musicals or German opera? Um, Fados is uh, Felix So Amateur Dramatic Society. Yes. Um, and they do they do lots of shows. You've got Felix Stowe Musical Theatre. So oh, it's three. Really? Three. What do they um, do? There's other groups that do plays as well. And yes. the Trimley Players. Oh, really? They do yes. a pantomime. Yes. Um, there's lots. There's yes. lots. But I still do the Ipswich one because that's sort of where I'm from and that's well, where my friends are. A, and you've been there for 30 years. Nearly, it, nearly 30, yes. Yes, yeah, it's quite a yeah. long time, isn't it? Yes, you don't look old enough to... For, <laughs> that, that, that long I paid him. Yes. And which, <laughs> was, which was your, your favourite production that you've done? Um, probably West Side Story. West Side Story. I've done that oh. twice. Have you, yes. First time, as I said, at the Wolsey, second time at the Regent. Yes. I played Anita, which is a brilliant part. Oh, you of, played that yourself? Yeah, and yes. um, it's just a brilliant show yes but then the four monty is is a pretty good show is too. that too yes, really yes. funny very yes. very funny yes yeah we yeah. we got um really good audiences in for that so what's your advice to young people who are interested in show business and going on the stage or um well just you know you can always come along to audition or yes you do auditions do you is that how yeah, you do yeah, it yeah we do so say for instance as a 15 year old who thinks oh I'd love to be in a production yeah and what what do they well, do well we've got a junior group on a Monday night uh, what are the, the ages that they come um, but they tend to go from age 7 to uh, 16 7 to 16 yeah. I see and then our our main group is sort of the next band up so sort of 17 onwards to, I see. to all sorts of ages upwards <laughs> what's, your, what's your eldest um, I suppose uh, well, I wouldn't like to say really, I don't really know. Uh, we've had, uh, Bill Thorne used to be in it, but unfortunately he died a couple of years ago. Who, but he was Bill he Thorne? was in it until he was, I think, about 78. Was he really? Yeah, Goodness, and yeah. then he went um, and did front of house, really. Didn't yes. do the, um, shows anymore. Yes. But, um, yeah, sort of up to 80, really. Gosh, that's you really know. good. So in other words, as long as they're able to actually get on stage and... Yes. Because yes, it doesn't take long to slip into Ipswich if people want to come to no. the Ipswich one, but alternatively there are yeah. others here in Felixstowe. We've got that a few enjoy. people in the Ipswich Operatic Society that are in Felixstowe, that live in Felixstowe. Oh, there are, yes. Yeah, we've got some people who, who teach at the, the academy, actually. Really? And um, a few of the children who come to our Monday night one, they're, yes. they're actually from Felixstowe. I think we've got three or four. Really? Gosh, mm. that's interesting. On the Monday night one. Yes. Um, but our next show, I haven't told you about our next no, show. No, no, tell me. Because obviously, this, the celebration is on this week, yes. the spa. Yes. But April uh, is, next year, is at the region, and we're doing Witches of Eastwick. Oh, that's supposed to be wonderful, isn't mm. it? The Witches so, of um, if anybody wants to audition for that. Oh, the good. Well, come and be a witch. They can. <laughs> yes, that's yes. lovely. Yeah. Well, in fact, you might get a lot from that. Because yeah. Now, if we hold up one of those, one of those, now, uh, I don't know whether you can see it, but they're going to be putting them up all around the town, hopefully, so that people will be able to see these. Yeah. And um, we're also going to put it out on the radio, so you'll be able to have further information. <laughs> there we are. We can't get very much closer than that. But it's, it's do go, because it's one of these things we must support, because it's all wrong that because the spa is thought to be closing, and I think they've actually got a date now, um, it's but January, it, I think. Is it January? Mm. But it's an awful shame that these people have done all this work and they've got very few bookings. So I'm sure we're going to, you're going to get a good supply of people. Can I just say that normally we come in the autumn to the spa with a show called Sounds Familiar. Yes. And this year it's not called Sounds Familiar, so people might not realise we're the same people. Oh, I see. So, so we normally do Sounds Familiar in October. Oh, I see. So this year we are doing celebrations. So people who've been to Sounds Familiar... Yeah. 
Uh, it's really being replaced this year by yeah. Celebration 2012. Yeah, it is. So well, that's that's the a same, good thing you mentioned. We're the same it. group. Because you probably got really people who, would, if they've seen Sounds Familiar, might have come. But, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Because Celebration 2012, it doesn't sound like a show, really, does it? No, it doesn't really. When I first saw it, I thought, well, I wonder what that is, too. Celebration 2012. Yeah. I didn't realise it was an actual show. Yeah, so it is. So if... I, in my ignorance, like that, must be a lot of people, but from the sounds of it, just run through very briefly again the things which people can see, the shows which are in um, because I think there's a lot of shows there which people love to see. Yeah, I mean, we've got uh, uh, Rogers and Hammerstein opening, which has got um, bits from Oklahoma, yes. um, bits from Sound of Music. Yes. Um, you know, all the, all the sort of Rogers bits, and Hammerstein yes, things. Lovable bits. Yeah. We've got a bit of Anything Goes, we've got Sit Down and Rock on the Boat from um, Guys and Dolls. Oh really, That's a yes. good number, yes. Sit Down and Rock on the Boat. Um, we've got some uh, from um, Martin Gare. Yes. And also Limiz, Bring Him Home from Limiz Oh really, yes. Bring Him Home is a nice song. Yes. One of our elder members is singing that. Really? Gary, he's nice. got a lovely yes. voice, tenor. And this um, is all with this uh, cast of 70, so yeah, it's not just yeah. a one it's person. Yeah, it's Yes. And we've got Bidoy, uh, which is from what Miss Saigon. Miss Saigon. Oh, yeah. goodness, that's a yeah. nice production. Yeah. Very good show. Yes. And we've also got American Trilogy, Glory, Glory, Hallelujah. Oh, yes. You know, yes. The, um, like the Elvis. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, we've got some gospel. I'm doing a gospel number. Are you? Well, that's from a, a, it's uh, called Ain't It Good. Yes. And it's from um, a musical called Children of Eden. Yes. Um, which didn't run for very long, but it's, it's really good. Yes. A um, yes. really good show. And we've got a bit of Phantom, Me and My Girl. Really, yes. And a London so it's, all, it's all musical, really. It's all oh, singing. We've got a bit of Fred Astaire as well. Oh, have you? Goodness. Yeah, Fred Astaire. Who's playing Fred Astaire? Well, it's not so much um, who's playing it, because different people sing different bits. Oh, I see what so you there mean. There isn't just one person. Oh, I see, yeah. If you see what I mean. So cheek to cheek, yes, and yes. Uh, all the Girl I Marry, and all things yes, like that. Yes, yes. Irving Berlin. And we're doing a bit of song time, so a bit of Sweeney Todd. Really? Yes. Yeah. Gosh, that's you know, good, isn't it? Bits, bits of that. And Sister Act, which is good. Sister Act? Sister Act. Oh, good. Yeah, it's very lively. And it's really lively. Lo lovely melodies, yes. That's yeah. is right, yes. And the children are doing uh, When I Grow Up from Matilda, which is yes. on at the West End at the moment. Yes. And we're also doing a Queen selection, not the Queen as in Elizabeth, but as in the group. Oh, the, so queen, oh, the, queen, the Queen, the, the band. Queen, the band, yes. And yes. also Le Miserables. And we're also doing a, a number which is really good from um, We Will Rock You, oh, which I is see, only yes. the good die young. So it's yes. a really real mixture from, you know, your old-fashioned type Fred Astaire, yes. Irving Berlin to um, pop stuff, really. Yes. Gosh, so and we've got a band as well. We've oh, got seven, seven people in the pit. Really? Gosh. Yes. Is this your own band or one that works with you? Um, we tend to have similar people. Yes, yes. Um, but they tend to play for all the other shows as I well. I see, yes. It's yes. not just us. Um, and they might be, you know, music teachers or... Gosh, that's very... So the quality, quality is always very good with these type of productions. Yeah, yeah. Um, the sound is always excellent. Um, we've got lots of mics covering the stage. Standing yes. mics, hanging mics. Yes. Mics everywhere. Yes. But wherever you sit in the spa, which is why it shouldn't close, because yes. it's a perfect size, the yes. spa. Yes, yes. It's, it's a brilliant size. Yes. It's not too big, you know, 900 seats. Yes. It's not too small, whereas the walls in Ipswich... I think that holds 400 seats. Is that so? so I didn't realise yeah, it it's a bit so small. Smaller, yeah. So you can't really sell enough tickets sometimes yes. there. So the spa is a perfect size. Yes. And then you've got the region holds 1500. So I that's see. a bit big. You go to uh, but the spa is just spa the right is number. Perfect. About a thousand, it's right, isn't it's it? It's perfect size theatre for yes. the sorts of things that we do, well, absolutely, really. Absolutely, yes. But wherever you sit in the spa, you can always see yes. the stage. And, and you can hear. And you can hear. This is the big thing, just isn't it? a brilliant you know, it's place to watch a show. Do you know what the position is with the spa now? I don't really. Um, so probably somebody will watch this and around. say that's not right. But yes. it, it's due to shut, I think, the 6th of January. 6th of um, January, isn't that a I shame? I think it is, after the pantomime. Yes, yes. I'm sure somebody's um, going to come to the rescue. Well, I think we should ask... Lloyd Webber. Yeah, now what a good idea. Because he lives around this area. Does he? he? Lives, Does um, he? I think he lives out near Clopton Way. Yes. You know, yes. Clopton, sort of yes, the other yes. side. 
Um, and he's got loads of money. Oh, and, he, uh, and he owns so many theatres in London. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure it would just be a little fraction of the yes. cost. Well, thank you very much for coming along, <laughs> Jane. It's, so Andrew Lloyd Webber. Well, there we are. So now, if any of you know Andrew Lloyd Webber or know his whereabouts, <laughs> please let us know and we'll contact him about the Spa Theatre. Yes, but please, please remember it. Do go along because A, it supports the Spa and B, it supports the Ipswich uh, musical and the people who are in it. There's a cast of 70. I think you'll have a lovely evening this weekend and look out for the notices. Thank you for watching and thank you, Jane, for coming along. <laughs> thank right. you so Thanks much. Very thank much. You.